We will use our parametric EQ to mold and shape the sound of each instrument by cutting or boosting certain frequencies. While boosting frequencies is easier to hear, it's a better practice to listen for problematic frequencies and then reduce those first. If you're not exactly sure where an offending frequency is, then you can apply the boost sweep and cut method to identify the problem. Start by placing your frequency center point where you believe the problem is. Using a narrow cue, boost the frequency center point about 6 to 8 dB. Sweep it across the frequency spectrum until you hear the problematic tone, and then cut that frequency until the unpleasant tone is gone. You can then choose whether to widen the cue or not. Widening the cue will cut more of the surrounding frequencies, while keeping it narrow will eliminate a smaller range of frequencies. Use the boost sweep and cut method with care when mixing in a live sound application as microphones can easily feed back in the stage monitors while in the boosting phase. Once you've identified and cut the unpleasant elements, then you can ask yourself, what can I boost that will make this instrument stand out even more in the mix?